NAC stands for N-acetyl-L-cysteine, often referred to and written as simply N-acetylcysteine. NAC is a precursor to the amino acid cysteine and converts to cysteine in the body. NAC is both used as a drug and an over-the-counter supplement. In 1963, NAC was used as an FDA-approved drug to treat obstructive lung disease. In 1985, NAC was also approved to treat acetaminophen overdose, or Tylenol overdose. And it's been a common treatment for that since. The World Health Organization, or the WHO, classifies NAC as an essential drug. On March 31, 2022, the FDA announced that NAC is excluded from the definition of a dietary supplement under the FDNC Act. According to the FDA, since NAC was not widely used as a dietary supplement before its use as a drug. Now, leading up to this ruling, Amazon removed all NAC supplements from its platform. A citizen's petition was sent to the FDA requesting that it not be excluded as a dietary supplement. The FDA hasn't pursued enforcement of their ruling in 2022, but is currently reviewing whether dietary supplements should continue to contain NAC since it has already approved the substance as a drug, as we mentioned earlier. As of November 29th, 2023, this is posted on the FDA's website. Today, the FDA has added its systematic review of literature regarding N-acetyl-L-cysteine, NAC, to the peer review agenda. The agency has completed its review of safety information related to NAC, which will now go through the peer review process as a next step. The FDA undertook this review as part of its evaluation of a citizen petition's request for the agency to undertake rulemaking to provide that NAC is not excluded from the definition of dietary supplement. See, this is their way of saying, hey, look, we listened. Currently, if you live in the US, Australia, and Canada, NAC is available as an over-the-counter supplement in pharmacies and health stores, and Amazon has since put it back on their platform, so you can order it on Amazon. As mentioned earlier, NAC is a precursor to the amino acid cysteine and converts to cysteine in the body. Cysteine is what's known as a non-essential amino acid. Now, it's important to note that non-essential doesn't mean that it's not important or not needed. Non-essential means that your body can produce that amino acid, even if you don't get enough of it in your food. Now, that said, often, much of the non-essential amino acids that our body uses still come from the food that we eat. And there are some situations in which your body can't make enough, so getting it from your food or in supplement form becomes more important. Some of the benefits of NAC include the following. NAC has a chelating action. Well, what does that mean? This means that it helps your body to get rid of toxic metals. It binds to toxic metals and helps your body expel them which is great, right? Because <laughs> there's a lot of worry about toxic metals all around us. NAC is also considered a mucolytic. It breaks up mucus or thins down mucus, especially when you're sick. Hey, if you're liking today's video, please remember to subscribe. Thank you. NAC is also considered an antioxidant and has a direct antioxidant effect as well as an indirect antioxidant effect. And we'll talk more about that later in this video. NAC has shown to have an antiviral effect that may be helpful with preventing sickness, especially flu and respiratory illnesses, and reducing flu symptoms when you do get sick. Now, my own recent experience with NAC was very positive. My son was sick, my wife was sick, my daughter got sick, so many people around me were getting sick, and sure enough, I started feeling symptoms. So I ran to the store, got some NAC, and started taking it, and my mild symptoms never developed into a full-blown sickness. I was very happy about that, and I made a video all about that experience, which I'll link down below. I will also put links to all the research, all the studies for this video, so you can read through them if you'd like. Now, if you're wondering, why would someone consider taking an over-the-counter NAC supplement? Generally, people take NAC to help boost their immune system and hopefully prevent sickness or to help reduce the symptoms of being sick and feel better faster. Kind of like my experience that I talked about a little bit earlier. There is another important reason, and they really kind of go hand in hand, and it has to do with slowing down aging. Remember when we said that NAC has a direct and indirect antioxidant effect? 
This means that NAC itself is considered an antioxidant. The indirect antioxidant effect comes from helping your body to produce its own master antioxidant. NAC helps your body to produce glutathione. And this is very important because right around your mid 40s, glutathione levels in your body begin to decline and continue to decline every year after. And then the detoxification process in your body begins to become less efficient, oxidative stress begins to go up, and all kinds of things start happening and we start feeling old. Helping your body to produce more glutathione is probably what most people think about currently when they hear NAC, especially when taken along with glycine. Glutathione is what's called a tripeptide and is considered the most important low molecular weight antioxidant synthesized in the cells. It is synthesized by the sequential addition of cysteine to glutamate followed by the addition of glycine. What has become very popular recently is the taking of NAC along with glycine, also called Glynac, and this for the very purpose of increasing glutathione levels. And there's a lot of studies about this. If you wanna learn more about Glynac, you can check out this video right over here.